I'm here today with my friend and colleague Craig and we're going to show you three different approaches to how to stretch the lats. The lats are these big muscles underneath the arms here and for anyone involved in the kind of gymnastic strength training that we do, lats get very strong and extremely tight and this is an excellent way to loosen them. So just watch this, we're standing opposite the ladder bars here, Craig's going to reach this arm up and hold and he's got a good strong grip on the top bar here and his bottom hand, we're going to call this the bottom hand and this the top hand, the bottom hand is in position so that he can actually push his body away from the stall bars and even this is a stretch for beginners. But to make it stronger he's going to climb up the, the ladder bars one rung or so, like so. Same holding pattern, the top arm here is where he's got most of his effort. This arm here is used to push the body sideways to increase the lateral flexion in the spine and then this, this leg here is actually in space and he's going to try and press it towards the floor. So that's version number two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold him like this and it's my left arm, this arm here that's on his hip, is going to just very gently press down. Tell me when that's enough, Craig. Yeah, that's good there. That's good there. Now what he's going to do, he's going to add a contraction, which means he's going to pull on his top arm, thereby contracting latissimus dorsi on the left-hand side. Three, two, one, stop. He takes a breath in and on a breath out I very gently press this left hip down at the same time as he presses the left leg away from him and tell me when that's enough Greg. That's, that's good. And so you hold the person in that position and you breathe in and out at least three or four times and each time you breathe out try to get a little bit more length in the latissimus dorsi and where you're stretching it'll be a very strong stretch for most people underneath the arm here but all the way down here and in fact over to the sacroiliac joint in time let's just turn around and show you what that looks like from the other side same arrangement top arm hanging on the bar now Craig you'll notice he's using a thumb over grip I personally prefer a thumb under but this one here works for him obviously and he's going, actually, are you high enough, do you think? Maybe we won't go one rung higher. We won't show the baby one. Okay, so if he's standing up one rung higher, notice already that this leg, because it's in space, just the sheer weight of the leg is already stretching him through here. This arm, his left arm, is pushing him away from the bars, which increases this angle here. And then I do exactly the same thing as I did on the other side. I'm hugging him. I'm pressing my right inside of the forearm onto the right hip and I let my own legs bend slightly like this and tell me when that's enough. Excellent and now do a contraction he's going to try and lift himself up using the one arm that's hanging on the top bar there. Three, two, one, stop. We both relax. I take a breath in, he takes a breath in and on a breath out we very gently try to elongate that part of the body a little further. Say when. What I'm asking him for there is I need to know for the pulling or the leaning force how far is enough. So I can feel he's breathed in and out a few times there already and so I'll take the weight off and he'll bring himself out of the position. The first time you try this don't go at it too hard. It's a very intense stretch in the beginning and if you've done a lot of strength training and you're, you haven't actually loosened up the lats this will feel extremely strong. But anyway this will loosen it and breathing and moving and everything else will feel a lot easier afterwards.